Hey, hey, and welcome back to the garden. Here's this week's tour. The zinnia bed's getting bigger. I have my gladiolas are sprouting. You see, this one's already started blooming. Love that orange. So I'm going to cut some of these mature zinnias. And I love this is uh, one of the orange lime ones. And they're ready cut because I can shake them and they're not flopping back and forth. Um, looking good, looking good. Do have some, and you can see on the leaves there's some powdery mildew. It's kind of hard to avoid um, since Houston is so uh, humid. But it really doesn't do anything to the flowers, and I strip the leaves when I put them in the vases anyway. That zinnia is doing good. The uh, ground cherries are still hanging in there. It has been so hot, and we still are like not getting much rain. So I'm having to keep a close eye on uh, how dry the dirt is. This is um, a Dara flowering carrot. I actually planted this in the fall, and it's just now blooming. It's really pretty though. It's like purple with white. I like it. So I'm excited to cut that and put that in bouquets. My Rudbeckia. This is the cherry brandy one from Baker Creek. Looks good. I'm going to cut a bunch of those for bouquets. And I typically cut uh, flowers for bouquets either early in the morning or late in the evening. Um, not during the hottest part of the day. And the, the flowers do better when you do that. Um, that is some dianthus that's going to get cut too. And then my watermelon's doing well. Um, this one, I have two of these. This is, and I have bugs starting to eat this. So hopefully it can still ripen. This is uh, the lemon drop. Another one here. And then this is the sugar baby. And I have some netting that I can use to tie these up. Um, the other one fell during a rainstorm and it was not ripe. Um, they do not ripen once they're off the vine. Let me turn that one around. Um, but yeah, melon's doing good. I have to come in here and cut some of the the old dahlia buds off and kind of like deadhead. Um, but these are doing doing pretty well considering the heat that we've had. Um, I have some melons over here. I have this one, this is the Madu Ra, and it should um, turn like a yellowish orange color. And then this is the Cicada Melon, and this will turn like a light green when it's ripe. And I've been fighting with these um, sharpshooter flies, which like suck the juices out of the plants. Um, they've been really bad this year. Look at all these jalapenos too. Some jalapenos to pick. This is the strawberry, uh, black strawberry tomato, and I have a bunch of those on there. And you can tell by this leaf curl that it needs some water. I'm gonna be watering tonight. These are dahlias from last year. Um, and I have a bud on that one. This is the Space Master cucumbers. Um, but it's kind of been really hot for, so I don't know if uh, the cucumbers are gonna pollinate well, but there's a couple over there. Hopefully they do. My Dr. Witchy, I pulled out the purple Russian, um, but I think it's birds, like completely demolished the tomatoes on there. Um, these are Dr. Witchy. They're looking good. All these are looking, looking pretty good. They're, you know, it's the struggle best because it's just been so, uh, hot, but... And I'm letting the sunflowers kind of dry out so that I can um, get the seed. I'm going to try to get, save the seeds for eating and for using next year. So I'm just kind of letting them dry. And so far, the birds and stuff are leaving it alone. My squash is succumbed to squash vine borers. You can tell by looking at... Uh, See there in the root, you can see where the worm went in. You can see it there too. Um, and they're really bad. So those have definitely... <sighs> yeah, those are like trouble every year. 
Something is eating my green beans still. I think it's the birds. But I am also fighting um, stink bugs, specifically on this uh, cucumber plant. But we'll see. There's one right there. Mm. So I'll have to get my soapy water again. That's one of the sharpshooters right there. Been really bad this year. <sighs> uh, Cajun bell peppers are looking pretty good still. The peppers do really well because they can do heat and they can do droughts really, really well. Um, I've been picking tomatoes off of this as they ripen, but I've been seeing a lot of those. Um, stink bugs on these tomato plants too. I'm gonna have to, they're flying around everywhere. Gosh, I'm gonna have to get my soapy water and knock them into it. Try to do that. Try to keep these two. I'm so excited for these, but it's just been so freaking hot. Sunrise bumblebee. And then my calendulus doing okay, considering that it really likes cooler weather. The blooms are definitely not as big as they were during our winter. Um, pretty good. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to water real, real good today. And the citrus is about the same. The limes on this one are getting a little bit bigger. So... Snapdragon, still doing okay. Dianthus. Uh, I've been getting a few bit more of these orange hat tomatoes. Parsley is going to seed. Dill's gone to seed. Got some flowers in here that have bloomed, but yeah, doing pretty well. No complaints. So, Stink bugs it's the main, has been the main issue. Soapy water. So hope you enjoyed the quick little garden tour, and I'll see you next time.